I hate to say it, but I was actually kind of disappointed in the world that came with the new For Rent expansion pack. I have such complicated feelings about this because Tomerang is a beautiful world. The style of it is stunning. I'm so glad to have a Southeast Asian inspired world. So it's not necessarily what they've done that's the problem. It's more what they didn't do that's the issue. It's only nine lots, which compared to all of the other expansion pack worlds is quite small. There's two community lots. One is a national park and one is a lounge. So there's not really that much to do here because there's not that many places to go. And for some reason, even though it's the rental pack, there's only two rental lots in this world. This one over here has three units, one of them that you can live in. And then this one back here has two units and you can live in the bottom one. There is a standalone starter home that's just a regular plain old residential lot and then three empty lots. I really don't think they should have had three empty lots here. In a world this small, they should have filled at least eight of them. In an ideal world, there'd be more lots and it wouldn't be this big of an issue. But here, I don't know, I, I just wish that there was more. The other problem is that EA built these lots. They didn't hire simmers this time around. I assume maybe it was a time constraint thing because they needed to have the build feature done in time to let people build with it. And I speak from experience when I say it takes them months to work with simmers behind the scenes to make builds for the packs. So I'm guessing that maybe they just didn't have time. They didn't have like the feature ready months in advance, obviously, so they couldn't really have people work on it. And I don't want to sit here and bully their builds because actually in comparison to a lot of the older packs, these are really good. You can see with this one, they've kind of tried to recreate some of these shells of buildings over here. So I get what they're going for and I think it actually looks pretty decent. But just in general, I don't want to have a starter home here. <laughs> I, I want to have like a townhouse or or some sort of small rental unit. So that's what we're going to do today. I want to replace this lot with a rental residential. It's only a 20 by 15 lot, so we don't have a ton of space to work with, but I think we can do something nice and we could probably have at least two or three units here. I'm really liking the bright colors and the density of this downtown area. It's, um, it's just that all of these are fake buildings. <laughs> Not a single one of these is real. Your sims cannot click on or play in any of them. The other real lot is over there. It's this building back here. Also, real quick disclaimer, I was given early access to this pack thanks to the EA Creator Network. I'm not being paid or anything. They literally just gave me the game early so I can make videos for you all. And this is kind of a weird version of the game. You're gonna see it has some quirks like this watermark floating across the screen. It also has no access to the gallery. And I only have the base game and for rent here. But with that being said, let's just start building. So I think what I wanna do honestly is quite similar to what they had before. I just want to like double it up so we have some second units. I actually genuinely really like these buildings that they have right next door to us so I might do something like this. I might also make them smaller though because we don't really need to have that much space. And then I thought that maybe with these instead of trying to make them completely identical because that's what I've been doing for the most part I could try to have like two separate buildings attached to each other. So this left unit is gonna have maybe like a little balcony set up right here. I'd also like to give them a little courtyard. I really, really, really like these fences that we got in the new pack. I honestly think the fences are probably the best part of the new pack. They're just really, really nice. We don't often get this many new kinds of fences, so I was very excited about them when I saw them. I don't really know what I'm going for with this yet. Clearly, I am kind of just winging it right now. <laughs> this color scheme is terrible, so don't worry. I'm gonna change the color of the fence, but for now, I just wanna figure out what I want this to look like. Does this come in like a little minty color? No, okay. Also, the lighting on this lot is terrible. All times of day, it looks bad. What alternative color should I use? I've been using that green color a lot. I wonder if maybe I should swap it for a different shade. This one has a kind of cute like coral tone to it. Oh my goodness, we should pick one that we could use a matching tile for. That is so beautiful. Does this come in like yellow? No, it comes in beige. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I want to do beige. That's not really the vibes. It also comes in gray, but that's no fun either. Does the green match that? Okay, never mind. Sorry, everybody. We've made it back to green. <laughs> All of that just to bring us back to the exact same color I had originally. <laughs> All right, maybe this could be in white then. I'll have like a cute white fence upstairs. And then I guess probably a white front door and like white windows everywhere. That is cute. Unfortunately, I think this balcony upstairs is going to be fake. <laughs> I don't really want to put anything up there. I, I kind of want it to be like just for the vibes. Oh, all the windows are too big. Even the like little tiny ones are too big to put up here. Do you think if I use these three times that would look really bad? They have more modern looking windows there. I guess we could just use some base game ones. I, I don't really want to though because I really want to use all the new stuff and I don't think that that matches at all. <laughs> 
I think that looks horrendous. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to come back to that. I don't know what to do with it, so I'm just gonna ignore it for a second. I'm also gonna fill in the whole lot with this like concrete stuff. And then do you think it would be really weird if I used a different fence? Maybe. I might use the same one in a different color then. What if we had pink next door? The pink is beautiful. I think I'll do a totally different roof color too. This makes the pink look bad. <laughs> okay, maybe not pink then. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this with the orange. Because that kind of has that reddish color. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> For some reason, this doesn't come in the same color. Even if I use like the same roof texture, it's not the same. It's not the same. They don't have the same swatches. Why? Why does this not come in the same swatches? That makes me really kind of upset actually. I'm using a different tile out in the front of this one. It's kind of got this like cool orange and green vibe going on to it. And then I wonder if we should do a totally different vibe out here. Like what if we had maybe like the brown roof trim instead? Oh, this is perfect. Look, look, look. Oh, this is perfect. This little fake balcony thing has like the exact right swatches. All this stuff even comes in that sort of pinky color. Does that mean the roof trim does too? Oh my gosh, it does. Okay, I think um, I think I can make this work. I used those windows all down the side of this building. I guess I'll put them on the first floor too. We'll see how we landscape all this. I, I don't know if it looks good or not. <laughs> I don't know about you, but oftentimes when I'm building, it's it's really an experiment deep down at its core. I, I'm just kind of looking around, you know? I'm seeing what we've got. <laughs> I'm trying out all the options. We're never gonna have the exact vibes figured out straight away. That comes later. You have to look around first see all the options. I think now I'd like to have a balcony in the back. I feel like it would be kind of cool if we had some sort of extra outdoor space over here. So I'll try and get something like that. I don't think that looks very good. <laughs> Does this come in the right color scheme? Oh, that's fine. Okay, that helps. It gives it the support that it needs. I don't know if the colors look bad together or not. I'm really struggling and I think it's because of the lighting. Like I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I like the idea of the balcony too, but I, I don't think it's working back here. Maybe I just do one window at the very top. That's maybe okay. That helps to hide it all. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I think I'll figure out the side windows once we've done the interior floor plan. I might try and do the floor plan first though, because I think the exterior is actually coming along. You can kind of see what we're going for at least now. And then on the insides, I'm going to have both of these be like very different on the interiors. They'll probably have very similar floor plans, but the style of the furnishing is going to be completely different. So here's what I'm thinking for the layout of the upstairs. We've got two bedrooms and then a small bathroom. And if I can make this exact same floor plan work over here, then I will. Okay, I think that's pretty good. It's definitely tight up here, but you don't need to have a lot of walking space. It's just the upstairs. Downstairs is gonna be a little bit more difficult because I would like to have a proper living room. I wanna have an entryway. I wanna have a dining space. So right now I'm kind of picturing that maybe the kitchen could go like this back here in the back corner. Obviously I'll change the colors around. I'm just kind of trying to think about a layout that makes sense. I'd like to have an island too, but I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Fun idea in theory, but does not really fit there. I guess it could be sort of L-shaped like this because then I could have the dining table over here. So imagine I, I lay out the kitchen like that and then the living room is right this way. I think that's fine. I can get us some nice things, like maybe a column and some spandrels in the kitchen to help separate it. I'm not really selling it right now with the colors that I have selected, but just keep in mind, this, this is just a layout, okay? I swear, I swear it'll look better when it's done. The windows are so big in this unit that I don't really know how to fit the kitchen in. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe if we had like, I guess maybe if the island was there, we have the corner pieces go that way. That's make, this makes the kitchen in this one a lot bigger, but that's not a bad thing because we can have a big dining table here somehow. Maybe I could have an office nook here in this section and like tuck a desk away in there or not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's the kitchen. And then we have the living room over here. It's very tight. It's like very, very, very close by to the front door. It makes this walking space kind of weird. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm thinking for laying out the furniture. We'll we'll come back to that. But first I wanna make all of these set as the units. So this whole first one on the left will be number one. When they're big, it's kind of annoying to do. <laughs> you have to place all the rooms individually. And then this one over here will be number two. So we'll create a unit there. I'll make sure that both of their yards are set to belong to them too. Okay. so that's 
that's all the unit setup. You can turn off those annoying lines if you want by pressing this button so you don't have to see the outlines. And I guess now we can start actually furnishing them. Okay, so on the interior of this, I want it to be a lot of light colors, I guess. This is gonna end up being extremely different from next door, but I think that's probably a good thing because it's nice to have a lot of variation in the units. I really like how the tile has a little border. I think that's really nice because we can just put that here where it ends. I think I'll use this rug because that brings in some more color for us. I really like the mix and match patterns on the curtains. I just don't know if I like how that one looks in here. And then should I maybe do yellow on all of the walls? I think if I do yellow on the walls, it makes this curtain look bad. Unless we try and bring in, mm, no. No, we don't have to have a curtain. What about that blue? We have that pretty blue color. I had this vision, and I know this is maybe gonna be controversial, <laughs> but I had this vision of using this blue rug with this purple sofa in one of them. But that is like really, really excessive in a bad way. Like that is a, a very bright color in a way that is not good. <laughs> maybe if there was darker wood, it would blend in better. I don't know. Just because there's white windows doesn't mean it has to, be... <sighs> no, this is bad. Maybe that's a, a better rug for a different time. <laughs> Maybe I should use that in some other build instead of in this one. Oh, that's beautiful. It's annoying that the colors are looking like that though, because it looks terrible together. Maybe I need to warm it up a little bit. Maybe it's the gray that's the problem, because if we had this nicer cabinet color... No, no, no. We can't do the light one. The countertop is terrible. But if we had this like more honey colored cabinet, that's maybe a little bit better because there's more to look at. Is there a different colored floor? No. <laughs> the new pack does not come with that floor color. Okay, that's fine. I'll make do with what I have. It'll be okay. Something to note if you're considering using this item is that it has a massive footprint. So you might think that it's very small and skinny and it's up against the wall so your sims can walk around it, but no. <laughs> Actually, it takes up, as far as the sims are concerned, all of these two tiles. So if I had this thing like right here, your sims normally would be able to walk in this little area and it would be fine. They need to fix the footprint or like tune it or something because it's kind of messed up right now. It isn't like that big of a deal, obviously, but I do think it's important to note just in case you're seeing it and wondering like, why doesn't it work? Normally, normally it would, but with that that particular item, it won't. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm thinking so far for this unit. I've got like a little desk by the front door. We have a small living room. In the back, we obviously have the big kitchen and dining section. I can't tell if this tile is absolutely horrendous or if it's kind of good. <laughs> it's not, it's not clear to me. I don't know which version is better. It looks kind of strange where it lines up right here too, but I don't know if I care that much about that. I think it's kind of fun to use and I need to get a sink before I forget. So I'll put a sink right here. We do also have this really nice dishwasher, which miraculously fits in the corner here. The dishwasher actually works really nicely on this little corner cabinet, so that's perfect. I'm gonna get a fruit bowl and then maybe buy this. Maybe I'll put like some utensils, some paper towels, and I want to use the pressure cooker too because that's one of the new items. Put a little trash can for your sims. I do like this little piece of art there on that wall. And then do you think that I could use this anywhere? Maybe in the hallway we could get a couple of these. I don't think that's really perfect, but I do like I like how it's big and fills up a lot of the space, so we'll put those there. Let's see what this tile looks like with the floor tile. I think it's gonna look bad, but we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> It looks a little bad. That's okay though. Sometimes it looking bad is like a good thing, depending on how you look at it. So that's the bathroom. The hallway, I don't think I can put anything else in because it's so small, we can't really fit anything else. I was picturing this bigger room becoming the primary bedroom. So I'll put a double bed in here. We'll get like nightstands and stuff. One thing I have absolutely not been paying attention to is the cost of this place. So that'll be kind of a fun surprise once we finish because I don't know what it's costing at the moment. I'm trying to think of some skill building items that we can add in that don't take up too much space but are still nice for gameplay. So I like the idea of this bonsai tree in here. I think I'm gonna just do that. I don't think I'll put anything else. And then in this last bedroom, I was picturing this one being more of a kid's bedroom. I really like the idea of the pink and green combo like on these curtains. So I'm gonna try and use that everywhere. Oh, uh, we only have the base game. There's like no options. I have these visions of what I want the place to look like and I just, I can't do it. Like 
we just don't have the options in the base game. There's really not enough beds in this pack either. It, I wish that we had more furniture. I'm always gonna say that though. Like it isn't really the fault of the pack so much. I'll tell you that every single time in every single pack, I'm gonna be like, wow, I wish we had more furniture. Okay, so here's what I've got for the kids room. I really like how this left unit turned out. I think this is exactly what I was going for. Obviously I still have some exterior stuff to add, but I wanna do the furnishing on this other unit next door first. We do have the color scheme kind of figured out over here already because I know that I want it to match what we have outside. I'm gonna use that kind of nice reddish wallpaper in the bathroom. And then I maybe will use that wallpaper in a lot of the other rooms too. I think that looks good down here. That looks so cool. The tile trim goes a long way when you use it inside. Obviously not gonna use those chairs. That is not the vibes. And then the color of the cabinets, I think I might use these because this is kind of just like a plain wooden color. I do really like these cabinets, but also oftentimes I feel like that, wait, what on earth? Oh, very strange. Okay, that's annoying. I was gonna say that often with these cabinets, I think the countertop is a little bit too dark, so I don't really use them that much. I find it hard to make most of the swatches work for that reason. Okay, we'll get a little bit of tile in the kitchen back there. I'll probably do the exact same thing with the sink and then like the little dishwasher here because that looks really good. But maybe in this one, we could use the new kettle instead of the pressure cooker. I've kind of found that most of the time when I'm doing these little builds, I've been enjoying having the layouts of all the units be very similar. For one, I feel like that's just more realistic. Like obviously in real life, if you had multiple units like this, they would be kind of identical on the interior. Not necessarily so much with the furnishings, but at least with how the stuff is all laid out. Like the kitchen's probably gonna be in the same place when you've got two units that were built at the exact same time right next to each other. Oh, I want more of that orange. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna use those bar stools. That kind of limits the placement of my TV. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be that good or not, but we'll see. This obviously is also not completely centered with the couch, but we're gonna have to just make that work, okay? We don't have a lot of options. The, the room is quite small. This wall shelf is definitely one of my favorite items in the pack. I think that looks so cute in there. Okay, but I have most of the layout down here figured out. We have to start adding in some more of the clutter now. Little things like the trash can, maybe if we wanted to have the same kitchen clutter that we did next door. It's just, it's nice kitchen clutter. And you know what? I put the same stuff in every single one of my builds. So why would I stop today? <laughs> just because I'm making two does not mean I'm not gonna do the same thing I always do. <laughs> okay, okay. I think that this so far is looking good in the kitchen area. Main problem I'm having right now is just that this living room looks kind of bland. So maybe I could get them a coat rack. Oh, maybe a bookshelf would be good. That's one of the other things this pack doesn't have. They don't have a bookshelf. I really like bookshelves. That was kind of sad when I realized that they didn't have one here. Oh, I'll put the marble collection. So you can you can fill that jar with like actual collectible marbles. So I'll put it up there on display. And now I think the whole downstairs is probably done. So we can move upstairs and do the two bedrooms. These will also be quite similar to next door, just with a different color scheme. Oh, what if we use the plant wallpaper? Is that so excessive? That kind of matches though. Let's do that for the kids room or I mean that could be for the like primary bedroom if we wanted to I guess one problem is that the curtains don't really match this like that doesn't look that good with those curtains and the base game curtains are bland <laughs> so I don't know if I want to use them but I like this a lot you can't do a leaf rug and a leaf wallpaper that's too much this is one of those times where you kind of have to pick one <laughs> I don't like that rug maybe I shouldn't use that rug at all okay they're also gonna need a desk in here because I don't have one downstairs I like to put a desk in all of my builds because I find it's just really helpful for actual gameplay to have one. The problem is that it doesn't really fit anywhere. If I size down a dresser, does it still look okay? Because I could size this down and put it here next to it. Oh, okay, that's fine, I think. It's not really as bold and brightly colored in here as it is downstairs, but I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what rug to use. All of them look bad with the wallpaper. <laughs> and I like the wallpaper, it's just, it's so much. You know, maybe I'll do no rug. Let's call it, this This can be okay. This is not bad. The kids room has to be different. We can't use the same thing twice, that's too much. This bed is base game, but it kind of matches the downstairs wallpaper. So maybe I use this with the yellow. I'm not loving where this window is placed, but it'll be fine. Wait, that actually kind of works really well <laughs> with, with the dinosaur rug, that's pretty good. We can get the little dinosaur toy. I've been trying to use more of the skill building items that I don't normally go for. So what if we put this thing right here 
order. So this one has the craft table and this one has the science table. And then I guess I can just sneak their dresser back in the corner. That's kind of tight, but they don't actually need to use the dresser. It's really fine if the dresser is just decorative in this game, because I never have my Sims use it anyway to change their outfits. I'm gonna copy the exact same thing into this hallway. Okay, so we've got those there. And then I think that might be everything for the two interiors. Now we just have to figure out the last minute details outside, because for example, I have not painted these buildings yet. I'm gonna save first though, because for some reason wallpaper is very laggy. What I have right now is not the final version of the game. They keep calling it not final software, so I don't know if it's gonna be laggy in the final software. All I know is right now it's very laggy, so I'm, I'm just trying to prepare myself. It's really annoying to place these wallpapers. Okay, so I painted the whole outside of the left one that nice greenish color. I think I would like to paint the right one the same wallpaper, but in maybe like that peachy orangey color. I'm not sure if that's gonna look bad, but that's kind of what I was picturing in my head when we were first building this. That way it matches the fence exactly, which is either a good or a bad thing. Hard to say. I'll use the tile on the balcony too. Okay, so that's the exterior so far. Oh, this is fake. <laughs> Just so you're, you're aware, I'm not gonna use this part. I'll put wallpaper and a light up there so it looks like it's real from the outside, but that that's gonna be fake. I'll probably mark that as belonging to the first unit though. All right, outside we need to get lights everywhere. Oh, we should put hopscotch because kids live in both of these places, so we could get like a little hopscotch thing down the side of the building. Is that the big one? Yeah, okay, we'll use the big one. I'll also put a little welcome mat in front of each of them, because look at how cute that is. And then maybe these people, they could probably have like a different kind of light because the house is sort of a different style. This is a new grill. It's like unlockable from one of the parties your Sims can have, but I'll use that out here. I don't think that the umbrella tables look nice. I think it actually looks kind of strange, so I won't do that. But we can get a little table out here. Maybe we could have like a little orange tree or something. I really think that plants are kind of a nice touch. I'm worried about putting too much though in the game not working, so I'm gonna be kind of careful here. That can be this one's backyard. These people have the bonsai tree upstairs in the bedroom, so maybe they're interested in gardening. I could give them a whole bunch of planter boxes maybe. Oh, that'll be kind of cute. I don't, well, I don't know if that looks bad. I'm really trying to think about what's most useful for your Sims. I I'm trying to think about what I would get use out of. To be honest, one of those main things I would use is a chess table. I know that I put these like everywhere in my builds. Every single time I make a Sims house, I put a chess table in it, but it's it's just nice. It's useful. You can build the logic skill. That's why I put them everywhere because I, I really do genuinely use them a lot of the time. Okay, so there's their back. Backyard. The nice thing is they have these big front yards too, so we have a lot of space to give them each stuff. Oh, we're also gonna need mailboxes. This one has three, and this is very obviously only two units, but we'll see what we can do. Oh my god, this is that like little tuk-tuk toy. I'm gonna put that in here. I don't know how I could have almost forgotten. What else do people have? <laughs> what else do you put in yards if you already have outdoor seating? Oh, what about this? They can have a telescope. This sim is the one who had the science table, so maybe they're interested in space and stuff. And then perhaps we could give an easel to their next door neighbors. There's a couple really nice little painting decor items from the artist career. These are like unlockables that your sims can get if they level up in that career. So we can put that out here too. Maybe just a couple chairs would be nice sitting outside. And I guess they could potentially have like two more planter boxes. I don't know, if they like plants this much, they'd probably get good use out of that. Unfortunately, the card table is a little ugly. But, but, I think it almost matches. So I might give them the card table. Because <laughs> then you can play cards. I never use the game table. So we'll put that out there. And then I think that might be the two exteriors done. Now we just have to do a lot of landscaping. And I'm going to use debug for this. The debug from this pack in particular is really good. They have a lot of plants. Oh, wait, I should have put marbles. Let's get this little marble circle out here somehow. The kids can play there. Okay, sorry, 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 go back. <laughs> debug now, debug now. In this debug, there's some really big and like really nice planter boxes. So what I was thinking was that maybe we could try and put those and then even have them come like slightly off the lot so we maximize the space we've got. And then I can use these same bushes because they have these over there. I'll just put the same ones in these planter boxes so it kind of makes it match with the rest of the area. They also have some of these little ones. So I'm thinking I'll put a handful of those in the corners and then maybe we do palm trees. The thing is this palm tree is very large so that kind of like covers a lot of the house. That could be a good thing but it also could be bad. Sort of depends. I'm gonna put the mailbox like right there so it's easy access for us. Oh we also need a trash can. Let me get this last tree first. It's not clipping anywhere. I think I like it. 
I think that's really pretty. My poor hopscotch game doesn't have a lot of room. I'm so sad. Okay, what I was gonna do next though was maybe build myself like a kind of sneaky spot to hide the trash cans. We can just make like a little nook right there and then we can put the trash can in it. So that way it's easily accessible, but it's also not like blocking the whole lot. And the kids hopscotch can be kind of in front of their window. That would be cute. That might be all the landscaping I do though, because I, I wanted to sort of blend into this area. If I was doing it in one of the other lots that wasn't downtown, I'd probably try and make it a little bit more lush looking, but because this is all concrete and it's all paved, I don't really want to add to it too much. They do have these really cute debug bike racks. I would like to have that, but I don't think I can put the bikes because yeah, they clip. Okay. I don't think that these bikes work. <laughs> Just so we're on the same page. I, I think that this is completely pretend. Purely decorative bikes, but I'm going to put a couple of them back there so it looks like they belong to those sims. And then maybe that is the whole house finished. Okay, so let me give you a quick tour just in case you forgot. So this is the exterior. We've got two units. One on the left is kind of blue. Other one is kind of orange. They're both the same size and they're laid out pretty similarly. But on this first one, we've got this cute little courtyard, a big living room with a desk, and it's all kind of open to the inside. So we've got this cute kitchen and a little dining table. When you go upstairs, we've got a tiny hallway that will let you access the bathroom, the primary bedroom, and then also the kids room. I picture maybe three Sims live here, like two adults and one child. Next door, we also have this cute little courtyard that goes into their living room. Again, all one room, living room, kitchen, dining room. Upstairs, we've got their primary bedroom, a little bathroom, and then a shared kids room. And that is the fully finished build. I want to go to Manage Worlds so I can show you what it looks like on the map. So when you go to live in one of these, you can pick the unit. One of them has furnishings that cost 25,000. The other one costs about 31,000. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so excited about this pack. This has just been like such a life-changing moment for me. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. They're four stars. That's pretty good. And currently the rent is set to one dollar per day. It's got fast internet and mold. Oh, I didn't get rid of that. Maybe I'll leave it. Maybe mold will be fun to have. Okay, well, <laughs> I think that is the fully finished build though. I'll obviously post this on the gallery as soon as I have access to the normal game. I don't have that right now and I, I can't even get it on the gallery right now because there is no gallery. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I pressed the gallery button, I made the game crash. Oh, I think the build's ruined. I haven't saved. I Well, I saved when I painted the walls, right? Oh my god. I was like, wow, there's a gallery button. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Of course this just happened. Okay, so I may or may not put it on the gallery, depending on whether or not it's still there. It's been like 30 minutes since I last saved. I just checked. Yeah, it's not even painted. Okay, well, I'll fix that and I'll, I'll put it up on the gallery for you eventually. <laughs> I'm devastated. Oh. This this is a good stopping point though. Um, also, look at the rent prices. <laughs> One of them costs $1. One of them costs billions of dollars. Cool, okay, Um, yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go now. I'm posting a lot of content playing with For Rent all week this week, so if you wanna watch that, make sure you're subscribed, and um, I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, deep breath, deep breath. Kayla, you cannot cry over a Sims build. At least it was just the exterior. If we had lost the whole interior, I'd be done. I'd have to quit.